It's a landmark procedure that could help revolutionize organ transplants sometime in the future. Surgeons say at NYU Langone that they have successfully transplanted a gene-edited pig kidney for the third time now. But this time, the transplant was into a brain-dead human being with the kidney functioning that has been now functioning for at least 32 days. That's the longest period a gene-edited pig kidney has ever functioned in a human recipient. This is cutting-edge stuff, and we're happy uh, joining us now to talk about it and inform us about it, two men who helped perform that operation. Dr. Philip Sommer, System Director for Organ Donation to NYU Langone Health, and Dr. Adam Griesmer, Transplant Surgeon at NYU Langone Health. Gentlemen, welcome. And and first, Dr. Griesmer, if I can turn to you, this, this is such cutting-edge stuff, but I do want to talk about the human reality here. The recipient, I understand his name is Maurice or, or Mo, he's a 57-year-old man who was declared brain-dead, and we have a little sound from his sister, what his sister said about the remarkable person who uh, was the recipient of this cutting-edge uh, transplant. Take a listen. Mo, as I like to call him, was a kind, giving brother who loved life and always lent a helping hand. It is only fitting that his final act, he will be helping so many in the need through this innovative medical advancement. <clears throat> I am excited and honored to be a participant in this breakthrough study with my brother, Mo. Yeah, that's, it's amazing, Dr. Griezmann. Can you talk a little bit about, about Mo and about how his donation uh, has helped make this research possible? So Mo is a gentleman who um, was very generous throughout his life, and his family felt that after he was declared brain dead, that consistent with his wishes, he would like to continue to contribute to society. And one of the challenges we have in organ transplant right now is we don't have enough organs for everyone who could benefit from transplantation. And one of the options is to use organs from other species. However, we don't understand the immune response of a human who has been transplanted with an animal organ. So most family generously consented to let us transplant a pig kidney to him and study the immune response of his body to the pig organ. And this allows us for the first time to really understand how well the pig kidney works long term in a human recipient. Dr. Summer, how, how's that going? The, the, this was a pig kidney modified. It seems that uh, doctors are now doing less is more when it comes to gene editing. Uh, can you talk about how the kidney was modified and how, how it's working now? Sure. So the kidney was modified in a way that uh, some of the uh, things that are on a in a pig kidney uh, that would elicit an immune response in a human were modified and taken out so that those proteins that are there are no longer expressed on that pig kidney. And so that allows the kidney to be transplanted into a human and avoids the immediate rejection that can occur uh, and has occurred uh, when these kidneys have been uh, or when these organs have been placed into uh, primates uh, previously. Right now, Mo, Mo has been uh, had this kidney in place for 32 days, and the kidney is functioning beautifully. It's taken over all of the expected uh, tasks that a normal human kidney does. Uh, if you looked at Mo's labs, you would not know that he has a pig kidney in him at all. You would think that he has a very functioning, well, uh, well working human kidney inside of him. And this is after a declaration of, of brain death, of, of death uh, under the law. So this kidney is still functioning. I mean, that's, that's amazing, without being rejected uh, by Moe's body. And, and Dr. Griezmann, if I can ask you, the, the major need for organ donations in the United States, it, it really is important. According to the U.S. Organ Procurement and Transplantation Network, more than 100,000 people are now on the wait list for organs. And uh, the vast majority of them, I understand, I, I guess, are waiting for kidney. Could, could this one day become an alternate supply of organs for transplant, do you think? We believe so. Um, there are currently about 100,000 100, people waiting for kidney transplantation, and there are thousands and thousands more people on dialysis that are not on the transplant waiting list right now because we don't have enough organs to transplant them with. Um, 
if we're able to achieve meaningful long-term survival without rejection of pig organs, then we can address not only the need of the people on the waiting list, but the people that should be on the waiting list that are currently on dialysis. So this could be life-changing for th hundreds of thousands of Americans. It, it, it is, and if I could ask you both, uh, what's it been like to work on, on this project, to, uh, to be part of something that is so cutting edge, and what's the, what's the horizon for it to becoming a real life reality? Sure, I'll, uh, the, working with Dr. Montgomery and Dr. Griesmer and an entire team of people that uh, you don't necessarily see, but everybody is important, is actually absolutely unbelievable. Uh, coming to work every day and knowing that you're doing something that no one else in the world has ever done is extremely exciting. And the possibility, like Dr. Griesmer was just saying, of what this technology and what this procedure could hold uh, just makes everyone want to work harder and continue to take care of Mo and find out more information, as much information as we can uh, mm -hmm. during this study. Hmm. And it's also humbling to work with Mo every day. Um, the gift that he and his family have made to the rest of society is profound. And it is an honor to be able to uh, make sure that we do this in the most respectful manner we can for him and his family. Absolutely. Dr. Summer, Dr. Griesmer, what an exciting development. Congratulations. Good luck. And thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.